Michigan Wolverines. We get to talk about Harbaugh. What are the chances Matt Campbell ends up there if the Big 12 splits up? <laughs> I know you don't like talking about it. Uh, FBI projected record here is 6-6 six and six for the Wolverines. Their win total, however, is 7.5. To go over is minus 145. To go under is plus 115. And to win the division, second best odds, plus 500. To win this division, right behind Ohio State. So, of course, there's several other teams that have those exact same odds. That's the way it goes in this division. Uh, last year's 1-3 start, that was the worst since 1967. Offensive line and quarterback have been um, not great. That Just disasters for Jim Harbaugh. And, you know, this is year three under offense coordinator Josh Gaddis. We will see what uh, what this thing looks like. I think they call it the dirt bike offense. Cade McNamara looks to be the quarterback this year, but he is going to have some competition. Alan Bowman uh, comes in from Texas Tech. They got their five-star freshman, J.J. McCarthy. Uh, he looks to be the future. I mean, if I was Harbaugh, I'd probably start McCarthy, I mean, as quick as I could get him in there. But I, yeah, you got to have him ready, right? Like, yeah, I think Harbaugh's just trying to win games. I, I think so, too. I don't think he cares anything about trying to play the right. I mean, he just want to play the best guy that day. Yeah. New defense coordinator is Mike McDonald comes over from the Ravens with, of course, Harbaugh's brother, John Harbaugh. Uh, he replaces Don Brown, and uh, and he's moving the base scheme to a three-man front. It kind of keep up with the RPO offenses that are going on that, I mean, they just got trounced by last year, like destroyed by those RPOs. Defensive roster, got a lot of hybrid guys, a ton of hybrid guys, and they should flourish better in this type of offense, I think. So, I, you know, a lot of people want to be down on Harbaugh, all that kind of stuff. I think last year, you going two and four. They were just nine and four the season before that. I'd, I'm kind of sold that they're going to be better this year. Yeah, like, they're going to be better. Last year was a weird-ass COVID year. I'm I'm going over the seven and a half. Yeah, I, I think they're going to win some games that people I'm, do not expect. We're agreeing on everything, but yeah, I I, I think you're right. I th- this team's better than people. The hate has gone too far. Yes. That's just it. Like, it's one thing to to say they were never as good as they thought they were. That's true. But they're not nearly as bad as people are making them out to be either. Yes. That, that can also be true. Not being able to beat Ohio State does not mean being, you know, five and seven in this conference. Like, those two things, they're, they're going to be somewhere between that. Yes. Yes, I agree. This is, this is a eight, nine win football team every year. And that's not good enough for a lot of people in Michigan. That's fine. My conversation to them is, is get over it and change your expectations. The sooner you change your expectations and realize who you are, the happier you will be. Harbaugh is you a coach that understands how to win. Football. You can watch college football and really enjoy it if you stop thinking it is your birthright to go 10-2 and two every year or better and to beat Ohio State every other year. Like, that's... As soon as you acknowledge that, we can move on and you can have a happy life. And you can love college football again. Speaking of, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe and we'll see you soon.